Introducing again, boxing out of the red corner, Lawrence Howie! His opponent, boxing out of the blue corner, Harry Balaco! This bout is scheduled for three two minute rounds, handing over to a full evening, Mr. Ian John Lewis. About 16 here at the Tank Promotions ninth anniversary show at the Mecca. Malcolm Martin with you. And two heavily supported men here. Lawrence Hoey in the black shorts in the red corner. Harry Balako, huge Seconds support out for him. For round number one. In the sky blue and white shorts and the vest. Lawrence, the topless boxer. Harry with the vest on. Lawrence looking for these big shots straight away, left and right. Looking to catch Harry early and keeping him under pressure, letting the bombs go straight away. Harry sucks it up, steps forward, looks for his own left hook. Lawrence throws the stiff left again, jab through the channel, looks for the right. And he's landing some heavy shots here, then holds. Harry, once he's done his work, Stiff jab again from Lawrence, finding the target. Harry's been under pressure, but he's centre ring now. Real tension in this bout. Heavy shots right from the start. Lawrence throws the jab. Waits for Harry, throws the jab again. It's stiff and it's straight through the channel. And the right hand follows. Oh, the big right hand lands on Harry. He looks for it again. Harry looks to push forward, but L Lawrence again, these clubbing punches, and then once he's done his work, he holds, which is a good tactic. It's not pleasant to see, but it's a good tactic once you've done your work. Now Harry looking to get back at his man. That's just a slip there. Harry looks to come forward Ten now. Seconds. Overall, though, this opening round, you've got to say it's been in favour of Lawrence with those just straight left and right, and he caught Harry cleanly there. He's saying it's a slip. Oh. He's getting the count, though. He's saying he wasn't knocked down, but Ian's giving him the count. It's a huge round for Lawrence. Seconds out for round two. Round two of three, and it's a big opening round for Lawrence. Harry's still there, though. He needs a big round in response. And he's starting to bob and weave now and tuck up, but that jab and right hand is getting through from Lawrence. And he comes forging forward again, just throwing the heavy shots, keeping Harry under pressure. It's not pretty. The forearm coming in, but he is keeping his man off balance and on the back foot. But Harry beginning to fire back now. The crowd responding as well as Lawrence looks just to push these big shots in and then use his shoulder there. A lot of tricks coming in from Lawrence to stop Harry getting a rhythm up after Lawrence has done his own good work. But Harry is still there and that means at this weight he's still dangerous. And with the effort he's put in to the opening round and this amount of the second, you wonder... How much is in the tank for Lawrence if Harry stays in front of him? But, oh, a big right hand again. And then he leans in. Looks for the shot once more. Harry steps forward, bobs and weaves. Got a roll and throw, though, just like that. The right, the left and the right. And the crowd responds as he does so. Lawrence has thrown the big shots. He's thrown a lot of them. But as I said, Harry is still there. And that's a lot of muscle to carry around for Lawrence. But again, a big right hand comes in. Harry looks for the left. Lawrence holds. 10 seconds. Last 10 seconds of the round and Harry looks to respond here. It's a tough, tough bout here. 
time. And a good finish, Harry. He's come back strongly after that knockdown. Corners, please. Seconds out for the third and final round. Can well, we please take our seats, guys? Listen please, to the atmosphere here. What a war this has been. And it all depends for me how much Lawrence has got left in the tank. Because I feel that Harry will really go for it in this third round. He needs a huge round. And he's going for it as I thought he would do. Lawrence hanging on. Looks for his own big right as Harry comes forward. It's been a tough, tough bout and some heavy shots landed and taken. And Harry looking for the equaliser now. As Lawrence, every time he misses, looks to hold his man. Warned by Ian for that. Harry steps in, he needs a huge finish. And here comes the punches and the crowd responds. Harry firing away now as Lawrence, you feel there is not that much left in the tank after those opening two rounds. Throws the left and right, but a double jab and straight right from Harry. And the crowd go crazy here. Will the big finish make it here for the man in the blue corner? He's really going for it in this third round. He's weathered the storm and coming back himself strongly now. Lawrence backing up now. Looking for the big right hand, but it doesn't carry the power it did. Harry steps forward. He needs that one big shot. He needs Last that count. 20 seconds. But it's 20 seconds left. He needs a huge finish. Lawrence looking to frustrate him. Last 10 and seconds. You can see the frustration on Harry's face. Will it be enough? Lawrence has spoiled Ta. and spoiled in this third round. And I feel because of that, he will have taken this. He had the count in the second round. Harry came on strong in the third, but I don't feel it'll be enough. Can we have both boxers to the centre of the ring, please? I've Guys, got a we've feeling. had some good fights tonight, but this one is absolutely magnificent. I've Give got a feeling Lawrence did enough in those opening two rounds, especially with the count to take this decision. I'll be very surprised if it doesn't go red. After three rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a winner. Boxing out of the red corner, Lawrence! Hey! Too much of a mountain to climb for Harry in that third. He did his best, but Lawrence takes it. very much.